Right then, well, finally the liners have turned into a bike. So it's competition time. First bite. Sounds like it's going to be a banging video. Oh, a lovely fish. I am buzzing. Some reeds out on the surface. Here. Yeah, I think this is it. Yeah. The spot is really close in. I've just wrapped it up, six wraps, so uh, mega range. But um, I'm going to just flick it out and um, see if we can have one. Lovely, nice bit of depth there. Right, take that out of the clip. Put a little dinky bobbin on and slacken it off slightly give it a little bit of a drop see if there's any uh, that way if we have a little bit of a drop if we get any liners we should just get some indication which um will signal if there's anything about hopefully so right that's one rod out there happy days let's get this one in and then we'll have two rods fishing i'm only going to fish the two rods because um it's a tight little spot and i don't want to overcrowd it with a third so we we'll see how we get on just fishing two for the time being. Right, number two's out. There we go then, that's the two rods out. Just close range. I'm basically fishing six wraps just to wear the um, wall of weed starts. There's basically a wall of weed going all the way along and it stretches out into the lake. I've basically just dropped the two rods right on the edge of that. I imagine the tension carp in here will probably patrol along that edge. And um, I'm gonna put a little bit of feed out there, not too much, and just see if we get any interest. So let's get a bit of grub sorted. Right, well, I've left my catapult at home, but luckily Hugh had one. So because I'm fishing so, so short, I'm gonna just put in a few eight millers with the catapult. That's the one. I'm going to just feed it little and often with the catapult, I think. First rod going out. Very similar to Sean's setup, so I'm not going to bore you with it twice. Two rods out on the sort of V in the uh, far tree line. It's a lovely clear area and I'm probably I've got enough space for a third rod just to the right of them.
Welcome to a new video. We are back on the bank and you join us in the Cotswolds once again. And today we're on a lovely, lovely little lake. Now this place is on the Hallcott complex and this is called the Tench Lake. Now that might give it away, but yes, there's a decent amount of tension here, but there's also some very, very special carp. Now there's not many, only a handful, but they are absolute gems. So I've come up with the idea of probably targeting the Tench and Hugh, I think is probably tinkering towards the uh, carp, weren't you? Tinkering, I see what you yeah. did there, nice, yeah. No, I'm definitely quite excited by um, this sort of unknown 15 to 20 carp that sort of reside in it. And uh, yeah, if I could get one of those, I would be going home a very, very happy angler. But um, the rods are already out, so happy days. Um, we've got some lovely little spots out in front of us. It is quite a weedy lake, but yeah, there is some lovely little clear airs, as you'd expect on a gravel pit. So feeling pretty confident, mate. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty confident. There's definitely a chance of a bite or two. I think I've probably got more chance with the tench, but I really love to see Hugh put one of the carp on the bank. Um, also, we're going to have another giveaway in this uh, video, so make sure you watch through and at some point we're obviously dropping the giveaway and you're going to have some goodies uh, hopefully coming to your door. So yeah. anyway. Sounds like it's going to be a banging video, mate. It does, mate. Giveaways yeah. and hopefully some fish. Exactly. Oh. And um, on that note, it's probably about time we get the kettle on as always, uh -huh. have a coffee and um, let's get it started. Yeah, your own. Cool. Let's go. Hey. <laughs> Happy days. That feels like a tinker. First bite of the afternoon. I was literally just making a just making a drink. Right hand rod's gone off. It feels like a tench, it is, I can see him. A species number one. Ooh, trying to pick the other rod out, great. That, um, that tree on the right hand side is a bit awkward. Oh, a lovely fish. Come to the net, mate. You want to do the honours? Mm. Step back a bit. Okay. That tree there is really awkward. Way. Well, there we go then little tench to kick off proceedings this one came on the yellow half tone bug wafter and he was absolutely nailed on the bottom lip so happy days rigs working nicely hopefully we can get a few more of these today Hughes just started getting a couple of indications on one of his rods so he might be about to get a take but yeah nice uh, nice start to the session hopefully we can get a few more before we shoot off this evening Right, so I've just had that tench then and I thought I'd show you what I'm using. So I'm obviously targeting the tench more than what Hugh is. And because of that, I've angled my rigs um, to that effect. So I'm basically using a scaled down sort of carp rig essentially. And what I've got there is a leg clip system. I've got a three ounce lead, which is quite big, but I do like using a bigger lead, just personal preference. I've got about six or seven inches of coated braid. That's the ESP tungsten loaded. I've stripped a little bit back at the end, just to give it a bit of flexibility to um, hopefully nail the tension the bottom lip. And I've got a size eight wide gape style hook, and I'm fishing the little half tone wafters, and this one was a yellow, and that is what I just had that fish on. So that's the tactics, very, very simple. Hugh, on the other hand, he's going in with Ronnie's. He is trying to catch the carp more than the tench. So he's angled them a little bit more towards the carp fish inside of things but both are going to work well and both should catch us a few fish. So anyway, I need to get this one set up again, put a fresh bag on it, flick it out in the pond, see if I can catch another tench. 
So we just slipped Sean's fish back. Happy days, he's off the score sheet. And uh, just in the nick of time, because the rain's just started coming down. So I'm tucked under the brolly while he's getting his rod resorted. So I think I'm slightly winning in that front, but I do need to put something on the score sheet, that's for certain. Blank last week, can't blank again today. But also, Sean's been promising me a late lunch of a bacon and sausage bat, which sounds lovely, but I can't smell it yet. And he's um, definitely slacking, so I need to go and give him a bit of a kick and uh, yeah, make sure he's firing up that stove. So that's an S port call. Fingers crossed at some point this afternoon, I'm going to be coming to you that I've got a fish in the net. And uh, yeah, I'm on the score sheet as well. So fingers crossed we can make it happen. Right then, well, finally the liners have turned into a bite. This lovely little tench, lovely condition. And uh, yeah, put up a nice little scrap, which unfortunately you haven't seen because the GoPro decided to uh, just pack it in. And uh, Sean was in the woods doing the do. So yeah, unfortunately no play in action, but quite easy to uh, reel on in on the old carp kit, but nice to get a bite. The wet's in that. So uh, yeah, we're both going in with a fish under our belt. And I have just seen a carp, I'm pretty certain it was a carp, in the weed to my left, which is not far from the spot. So I am pretty excited that maybe the next bite might be one of these epic carp that live in here. So let's slip this one back and fingers crossed the next one is something a little special. Right then, so it's competition time. On this session, we've both been using some of the bug dumbbells. So we're gonna be giving away a five kilo bag to one lucky winner. That person is also gonna win some of the yellow and orange half-tone wafters from DNA. Here they come. So one of the new hook baits out that DNA have recently brought out, I've caught on an orange and Sean a yellow. So yeah, so far really impressed with those. So to enter this competition, all you need to do is comment down below if you couldn't go and target carp, what species would you go after? And what angler would you take with you to help you catch one of those species? What species would you target and who would you take with you to help you catch? Comment down below on this video to enter the competition. Make sure you're a subscriber because that is also one of the entry requirements. And good luck to you all. And one of you is going to be a very happy winner. Go long. Send it. Oh, I feel like I should be playing for England rugby. Right then, so I'm a little bit excited because I've just seen a carp go through my area. It's sort of similar range to where Sean's fishing, but yeah, much closer in than where I have been fishing all day. So I've whipped all three rods in. I'm gonna put one back out on the spot where I've been fishing all day because I've seen something in the weed to my left. I think that was a carp as well. So yeah, I wanna keep one rod out there, but I'm gonna bring the other two in a lot closer in. I've had a little lead about, it's nice and clear. So yeah, they're clipped up, ready to go. Let's get them out there and fingers crossed we can put a carp on the map. Come on, I am buzzing.
Right, that is the end of the session. Unfortunately, there's been no further action on the fish front, but we've had a great time. We've enjoyed being out. And to be fair, this evening, we've had a bit of a sit down and a catch up over a few brews and um, just chilled out a little bit, haven't we, mate? Yeah, it's been much needed. It's been a manic afternoon trying to get all the footage and obviously catching a couple of tench. Unfortunately, we didn't have any carp. It would have been absolutely mega to have got one out of here, but I guess it leaves a chapter that's unfinished and we can come back and try to sort yeah. that problem out. But hopefully you've enjoyed the uh, video. Hopefully you all get involved involved in the competition and uh, entering it by commenting down below as needed and obviously also hitting that subscribe button so that's all from us it is make sure you get on the bank and be lucky yourselves we'll see you all next tuesday at 6 30 and uh, until then get on a bank and enjoy your fishing be lucky be lucky yeah you be lucky we all need a bit of that right let's go home come on then.